Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On Call Compliance Solutions. I'm back with my 100th video in a row with no water break. No, I'm just kidding. We're back with another compliance tip of the week. Kidding, not kidding. Just call me Kesha. Hey, this week we're talking about CMMC control AC.L2-3.1.22. Control CUI posted or processed on publicly accessible systems. So hey, if you're a defense contractor who's feeling overwhelmed, tired, and alone, trying to understand all this CMMC, DFARS, and NIST SB 800 compliance stuff on top of an already colossal workload, well, I've got great news. You found your home here in On-Call Compliance Solutions, where we can help you transform into your company's on-call compliance hero. Let's jump into it. So in CMMC control AC.L1-3.1.22, I always got to do a little happy dance when I read these controls. They're so freaking long. Control CUI posted or processed on publicly accessible systems. Well, I don't know about you guys, but this one seems a little obvious, right? Hey, it is what it is, right? If you don't put the control in place, somebody will do it. So look, don't go posting top secret defense information out in public. Duh. But... You'd think this would be very obvious, but let me tell you, with Facebook and Instagram out there, people just love to snap pictures of cool stuff and post it. And you have to have policies and controls over that kind of thing, guys. Uh, again, it's like that is actually one of the big primary reasons that we have such a problem in this country with information security is because, well, people think it's cool and they don't really take information security seriously. And the next thing you know, you got like blueprints and stuff showing up on the Internet because somebody thought it was cool to post on Instagram. Yuck, true story. This control goes even deeper and requires that there basically be a policy in place declaring who's authorized to post and potentially even have a review process if you're going to post things publicly. Between giving references and wanting to showcase your best work online, it's just not as unusual as you would think, right? I mean, think about a contractor. They come in, you got this cool piece of defense something or other, and they're like, dude, check out what I just worked on. They post up their Instagram page and Harry the plumber, I don't know why plumbers are always called Harry, but Harry the plumber posted up on his Instagram page. And who do you think scanning for that kind of stuff? The Chinese, you know, it just is what it is, man. It just is what it is. Don't do it. But more importantly, train your staff not to do it. So let's check out what the assessors are looking for and how to make them happy on this one. Now, there's a lot of assessment points there. So I'm going to break out my Sesame Street skills. We're going to count to five. Number one, determine if individuals authorized to post or process information on publicly accessible systems are identified. So have you identified who's allowed to post CUI publicly? Now, I'm going to give a sample answer, but it may not be your sample answer. So I'm going to give you a sample answer, you know, that we might put down because this is the way we operate. I would say, hey, look, posting a CUI on publicly accessible systems is expressly prohibited by the IT use and cybersecurity policy. Literally not allowed. Every employee gets trained on it. They're terminated if they do it. Not allowed. Don't do it. Do not pass go. No $200 for you. Okay, that's our policy, and that's a legitimate answer. I break out the policy, I show it to an assessor, and you're out of hot water. Now, assessment point number two, determine if procedures to ensure CUI uh, is not posted or processed on publicly accessible systems are identified. Have you actually identified the procedures? So the first assessment point was the individuals. Now, the procedures to ensure that CUI is not posted or processed. Well, that's an interesting one, right? Because our answer is still, hey, look, go to the IT use and cybersecurity policy. We disallow it completely, okay? It's not that it's not applicable. It's that we have an active policy saying don't do that. Now, some companies aren't like that. You may have a public intranet that you can get to on the internet, all right? You may have some examples that have been cleared by DOD to show on your website as proof of past performance. Those are all very legitimate reasons, but you've got to have a procedure if you're going to allow this stuff to be processed uh, uh, or posted publicly. So you, now you got to have a written procedure for how it gets cleared to be posted publicly. Assessment point number three, determine if a review process is in place prior to posting of any content to publicly accessible systems. Again, same answer for us, but for you, you may need a review process. They basically mandate that you have some layers here. So again, you'd have to have a written review process for clearing that information to actually show up you know, online in publications and marketing materials, wherever it may be. All right, fourth assessment point, determine if content on publicly accessible systems is reviewed to ensure that it does not include CUI. Okay, so again, the third point was review the process 
that's in place prior to posting, so before you post. Then you've got to have another pro part of your process to review whatever that information is specifically for CUI to make sure that that doesn't make it out there. So great example is this. In our company, we have a marketing department. In the marketing department, we have a senior compliance officer who reviews all marketing before it goes out into the public. Like this video, I feel, I feel bad for that guy because he's got to watch my face like a lot. And I mean, look, it's not the worst looking thing you ever saw, but who wants to stare at this all day long? You know, you're, I bet, you know what? I bet you're on headphones right now. You're probably on the treadmill. You know who I'm talking to. All right, determine, now point number five, determine if mechanisms are in place to remove and address improper posting of CUI. Who wouldn't want to look at my face? I mean, to be honest, like it's not that bad looking of a face, a little bit lopsided, but it's not that bad. It gets the job done, that's what I like to say. All right, determine if mechanisms are in place to remove and address improper posting of CUI. Posting of CUI on publicly accessible systems is expressly prohibited. All right, so we prohibit it, but now you gotta look at the mechanisms. How is it getting posted, all right? Do we have like an automated posting thing that, I don't know, maybe scrapes some of our stuff and could possibly, uh, you know, give away CUI? I don't know. This one's a little bit of a stretch, to be honest with you, but again, the idea is, is there a mechanism in place our mechanism is our policy that just simply disallows it as a policy, right? That's our mechanism. But <clears throat> again, remember, CMMC assessors have to look at mechanisms and determine if, in fact, there is something in place that would remove and address improper posting of CUI. So again, we have a content review committee at our company. That's because we market a lot. And again, they review the stuff, uh, even things that have already been posted to make sure there is no CUI that could possibly be, you know, put in there. So just in case you didn't know this. At OnCall, we work with defense contractors just like you who have had this DFARS, NIST, ITAR, and CMMC compliance stuff dropped in their laps like a seagull on a sunny day, all right? We teach you how to level up and be a proper on-call compliance hero for your company, eliminating gaps, gray areas, and getting this solved all while showing you how to leverage compliance as your secret weapon to land more defense work with higher profit margins. That's what we're all about. That's what becoming an on-call compliance hero can do for you, my heroes, my people. All right, if you're looking for more help getting compliant, our compliance experts are always on call for you. You can visit cmmccompliancesecrets.com or check out the bio below for links to get help right now. If you love the content we're putting out there for you, help us out with a big thumbs up on like button or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as, your, as our compliance nerds roll it out. Until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. And I'll see you on the next one.